I quit my job. I'm gonna be the panda for one year. Here's the new BLC instructor! Yay! How was your first day? Good. I saw you got a new patch. Oh, yeah. You're not wearing the Indian patch anymore. No. How was it? How was your first day? Good. Just in the classroom, just shadowing. So this, this cycle is like three weeks long. I'll just sit in the classroom, observe, asking questions if I have about instructing or facilitating. That's about it. Yeah. Yep. So you gotta have. Did you bought this? No, the issue. The, the supplier actually had them. Oh, okay. Yep. So. so you gotta have to um, get some more of this for your other uniforms. Yeah, I think hopefully supply gave me some more. So. Okay. No more. Here's the new BLC instructor. Mm. Yay! It happened again. Chad Douglas fucking forget his PC. He forgot his PC and now I'm running to to his work to give him his um his hat. This is not the first time this thing happened. Last time he forgot his wallet at home. Thank goodness he is just right by outside our our house. More 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 thing before that. One time, he lost his wallet, he can't remember where he put it. I have to sneak him or hide him behind our car to get into the base because if he sits right next to me, they're gonna ask for his ID. But he he lost his wallet, can't remember where he put it, uh, whatever. So I drop him off to work, he have to hide at the back of the car. Then that afternoon, yeah, we found the wallet, it's right in the car. Morning. Thank you. Douglas is home. He wants me to take a picture of his um, car because he needed it. It's been raining the past couple of days so he didn't able to drive his car. But, um, it's been a nice day today. Baby, hi. hi. Baby. Sorry. What is the panda? The panda? Pen is just a military spouse that leeches off their uh, significant other that's providing them all the benefits and uh, 
money. They just don't do anything. Maybe they're stay-at-home mom, but they really don't do a good job taking care of the kids or don't clean the house, don't cook for their their spouse. That's gonna be me for the next oh, one no. year. <laughs> I quit my job. I'm gonna be the panda for one year. What did you say? I said, no you're not, because you'll be going to school to get a degree so that you can make more money. So that when you're not working now, you're still, that's your way of providing it by getting an education so that we can take your first, so we can take six months of your paycheck and finally get the evil done. I can finally get the evil done. What? Yeah. I'm gonna be a dependa. They call it the panda, the panda potamus, the panda potamus. Fat and nasty. I'm gonna be fat and nasty eating in the couch like Jabba the Hutt. He oh, oh, got a belly like Jabba. He's already... He, oh, oh. <laughs> you're not. Cause, I mean, it's not like you're just staying home and leeching off the benefits and not contributing. You're contributing by going to school. No, I'm sorry. Competence is my watchword. My two basic responsibilities will always be uppermost in my mind. Accomplishment of my mission and the welfare of my soldiers. I will strive to remain technically and tactically proficient. I will be fair and impartial when recommending both reward and punishment. Leaders. I would just say leaders, you know, like more right. pronounced. It's good that you slowed it down, I would, but I would almost speed it up just a little. As a non-commissioned officer, I realize that I'm a member of a time minor corps, which is known, because you're just, you're, you're almost sounding like a, a bond boy or something, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like a, Especially Strickland reporting to the president of the board. Uh, NCO Creed. Creed of the non-commissioned officer. No one is more professional than I. I am a non-commissioned officer, a leader of soldiers. You're scared for tomorrow, Strickland? I mean, not really. I don't know if I have one. Oh, no, I don't want one. <laughs> and then the only other thing you need to remember as far as for the males is a regimental distinctive insignia uh, parallel to the inside edge of the color. So what was that all about the lapel scene? So this is one inch above the notch and then above the lapel seam. Say what? <laughs> How he used to, he just walks around work all day just, <laughs> just forcing himself to fart. So I'm not surprised that there was one time he sharp himself. Like, yeah. yeah, it's not surprising. <laughs> yeah, he sharp himself. <laughs> While we were taking a shower. Oh no, you were in there too? Yeah. Grounds for divorce. <laughs> I mean, he was a pogue, don't get me wrong, but that shit looked good as hell. This is my husband. He is an ASU doctor. <laughs> I will be loyal to those with whom I serve. Senior spirits and subordinates alike. I will exercise initiative by taking appropriate action in the absence of orders. I will not compromise my integrity or my moral courage. Ready for tomorrow? I am. Hopefully I'll come back with good news. Okay. No, no, no. No, okay. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye. Yeah, you're always important. Good luck. All right, son. All right, brother. Good luck. Hey, man. Oh, shit. Yeah. Appreciate it. So, good luck. Ain't no problem. No problem. I'm all there, so. Even when you leave, man, you got some questions. All right, good luck. What do you like about what you do? Or what I do? Really, just being able to give my knowledge to others. That's how you make an impact in the Army. You leave better than what you had. So if you didn't have good mentors growing up in the Army, that's 
that's what I do. I give them all the best advice. Not all of them take it, but the ones that do, you know, at least, you know, as they move forward in their career, or even when they get out, that you gave them the best advice. You gave them any tricks that you may have, try to make their life easier. Um, like I said, the ones that gravitate towards it, that you really help out, great. The ones that don't, well, at least when it's all said and done, you've done the best that you can. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> that was so beautiful. And that then I didn't even get too in depth. I get more in depth when I teach in class. So that's what you do at NCOA? Yeah. You teach the future NCOs things like army ethics, army leadership. Um, share your experiences. When they come to the NCOA, you need to motivate them, inspire them, so that they try to aspire to be like you. You show them what good leadership is, so they want to emulate you. So that as they have good army leaders, they have learned traits that they pick up. If you're good at what you do, they're gonna to want to emulate you. They're going to want to, uh, if you guys don't know what that means, they're gonna to want to try to act like you or mimic you because they see what good leaders do. So in return, instead of you know, being a shitbag or toxic leader and perpetuate the cycle, you need to make them understand that the knowledge that we give them, they need to let their soldiers know and train their soldiers up. So that way by the time they get to become NCOs, they've already heard this and you're bettering the NCO Corps, the Army in general. Whoa. 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 Whoa.